I get access to this arm as I pull open his chest and I pass it to this arm. Now from here, I can start looking to come up in the triangles and to take it back. So that was one pathway that I followed. So Cole has me here in the uh, crackdown single position. So the first thing I started to look for immediately is Colt tended to have this hand open. And I really like to use this in a couple different ways. The first thing I like to do here is I like to come underneath and jack up this arm. If I can get underneath this arm, it's kind of like a 100% type position. Another thing I can do if I get access to this arm is I pull open his chest and I pass it to this arm. Now from here, I can start looking to come up in the triangles and to take it back. So that was one pathway that I followed. Another pathway that I followed from here is I would get under this arm and as Cole went to pass off for his double, I scoop underneath that other side and now I have this kind of like double underhook type position. And from here, with my butterflies, I'm able to take them. So that was pretty cool. And also, also from here, when I get under, and now I, I play over here. So I get underhook this arm and I overhook this near side arm. And here I've been, I'm looking to stay tight. When I'm tight, uh, I can look to put my butterflies in, and I just look to take Cole where he doesn't have a post. So for example, over my left shoulder, if I put my butterfly hook in, and I start to turn belly up here, Cole doesn't have a post over here. And very often, me and Cole had battles from here, right, where I keep this uh, underhook, and I keep this overhook. Here, I'll look to pass, and look to come to my T and more position. Um, then, so that's, oh yeah, then there's the guillotines as well. So from here, right, I'm jacking this up, jacking this up. I'm trying to catch the ankle as Cole also mentioned. I'm jacking this up, jacking this up. Let's say he sprawls the leg back. When he sprawls the leg back, I can look to come in. And instead of going under here, I can fish for the guillotine. Also, if I'm fishing for the guillotine here, I'm staying nice and tight. But let's say uh, he brings the hand in to start the hand fight here. Then I can go back to here. So I can play back and forth between these two grips pretty much uh, up when I, when, I, when I need to. So that's uh, pretty, pretty useful. So yeah, so that's kind of the three things that I was looking for there. So taking Colt where he has no post, uh, getting under that far side arm going Kimura's or taking the back, and then switching for guillotines. So now, right, I, I put my shoulder in the hip pocket here. Now what I look to do is a little bit different. My idea was I'm, I'm isolating and separating the legs and I also I don't give Colt access to this armpit because I feel like when Colt gets here I'm in a lot of trouble right so I kept that nice and hidden here now when Colt uses his far foot to start to build up right he starts to build up with that far foot I look to come through here and I look to find his ankle if I can attach to this ankle over here now from here I can look to build up and start to jump around the corner and do some kind of like Crank shit, you know. <laughs> so that worked. That worked pretty well. Um, I think that's not, not terrible. Also, I like to use my butterflies a lot here. So uh, like shin pins and butterflies. So Colt was really good at this. He he has this like nice shin ride from here. Um, so I I would like four point up and I would get inside this leg and then again look that gives me access now to like back step around collect and then again here I can shelf or I could also look to come this way pop my head in here. Yeah, so that's kind of what I tried to do when I was in that position. And uh, you know, it's cool just to experiment and try different stuff. And it's cool to see like the jujitsu versus the wrestling perspective and see like what our different roles are. And, and like, for example, that hand post, in wrestling, maybe it's not a big deal, right? There's no guillotines and stuff. But in jujitsu, I feel like if they get under that far shoulder, Man, it's fucking, it's tricky. Cool, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.